So um, I'm just going to go through the presentation here, and it's um, it's about the course and about my journey um, from bringing from the product idea to market readiness. Um, in 1996, I, uh, I received a diploma from, from Dundalk, from Dundalk, and uh, the very next day I relocated to the USA. I had spent a year and a half approximately um, prior to that, and I wished to return there. So I spent 12 years in New York in the in the um, engineering and project management in the construction industry, and then returning to Dublin, I I tried to, I tried my um, scaffold system that year. Um, Place to place the patent on it, but the construction industry, as everybody knows, faltered and the timing wasn't right. So I spent um, seven years in Dublin um, as a contract manager of the manufacturing civils and installation firm. In 2008, I received a occupation, a national certificate in occupational health and safety. Um, idea to market readiness. I had an idea. Um, for a product. I was able to design it um, and to complete all the CAD drawings and I had the ability to build a prototype. But what was next? How was I going to get it to the market? I needed a uh, direction, um, some more experience and uh, professionalism to bring it that far. Um, my transition from employee to student, um, very difficult to try and do what I was doing by working full time. So I left work and started working part time. Um, I visited Dundalk Institute of Technology, which I left 20 years prior, and uh, I found out about this engineering entrepreneurship course. And um, the director of it was a former, a former lecturer of mine who was sitting there at home in Edward. And I called him up and we had a meeting. And we, uh, we spoke in depth of what this course would do for me and what resources were available. And as you can read, um, it was engineering, marketing, finance, law, intellectual property, sustainability. And uh, um, the course is a one-year add-on level eight. Um, it's open to level seven graduates. The aim of the program is to enhance the creativity and innovative ability of the learner and to foster understanding of the need for an entrepreneurial culture. So basically what I was looking for was, was to bring my concept to the market in a, in a professional manner. The program structure, as you can see, um, the new venture development was your project. All the all the um, courses, all the subjects, in semester one and semester two, fed into this project. So any reports you're doing, any information you're getting, was going directly straight into your project. Um, um, the the collaboration between engineering, business, and the regional development centre. Regional Development Centre is the building beside Dundalk, the DKIT, and uh, it is part of Enterprise Ireland, um, which brought in guest lecturers from the industry. Uh, uh, the new venture development idea. Um, it required, required, you, required you to uh, write 200 words about your idea, to show a, a need and to show a market for it, and the resources required and the health and safety issues. My idea was a new scaffold system, and it seemed like a good fit to the model. The new scaffold system, um, I wanted to incorporate greater safety and efficiency. I, I had, um, I say from my experience, the systems in New York were, uh, were more efficient and safer. Um, the installation time was probably twice as quick, and I had to incorporate that into the European model. The solution required uh, a safer system, a secure tie-off system with the heightened um, health and safety um, in this country at the, at the moment and uh, which, which didn't, I would just say, slow down the installation. So you're able to tie off and build the scaffold safely. Now all the other systems, um, when they incorporate the fall arrest system, they were slowing down the installation by 40%. But were only able to raise the rates because there was a, like an industry standard there. Um, so it's faster installation, uh, lighter, with li lighter with less components, drawn over by 50%. I developed a user-friendly design software ensuring certification, uh, a scaffold plank security system, uh, balance loads, uh, and I, re I removed the need for tools when constructing the system. 
there's no loose parts, there's no nuts and bolts, it's all gravity things, so you didn't have to leave tools on that could fall off planks or tools that could fall off platforms and harm personnel. So the first, the first part was develop a project plan. Um, during this project plan, we had to look at design calculations, all design, all sales and marketing, the feasibility study had to be compiled first, uh, looking at competitor analysis, competitor pricing, marketing channels, and sales, sales targets. Um, prototype fabrication, and the main, uh, operation and maintenance, which included compiling a manual. Now this slide here um, shows how mind mapping can really incorporate everything that uh, the design required. Um, but then it I had to first look at the European standards and design it to the applicable harmonised standards. Um, safety, a lot of safety is involved. Scaffolding is very dangerous business. Construction is very dangerous business. And as you can see, slips, trips and falls account for 68% of construction accidents. Strength was an issue. Um, the building's going to get taller. People want to load more of the scaffolding. And, that, and there has been serious access because of this. Uh, integration to an existing system. There's a lot of systems um, still available in Ireland. And I didn't want to replace everything. I still wanted to integrate and use, use the same miscellaneous uh, like clamps, um, pipes, jacks, stair units and everything. So you weren't going out and buying a total new system. Uh, of course, that had to be cost efficient. So I installate, the installation time was half, the cost of the system was less, uh, less component parts, a uh, longer life cycle, and it's galvanized system. Now, the project progress to date. The scaffolding system has been designed and tested to EU standards. I've compiled a feasibility, marketing, technical report, and business plan. Uh, an operation and maintenance manual has been drafted. Um, and all organisations like the HSA and CIF I liaised with for the last two years. I submitted a patent application the 22nd of April, and just last Sunday we uh, tried and tested and installed 100 square metres of this, which we installed in 50 minutes. Now it was um, scaffolders on hand and people who did help me um, have been in the business for 25, 30 years, and they reckon it would have taken nearly three hours to build it what we built in 50 minutes. Um, and uh, through, through my contacts in Enterprise Ireland, which, which with the Regional Development Centre beside DKIT uh, and networking with Enterprise Ireland, I've now um, entered onto a new Frontiers programme, which is a six-month programme for a further development. And they help with the, the marketing and they run schemes and, and uh, they, they bring in uh, venture capitalists. So I'm hoping through that the next six months, that starts on the 26th of June, that I'll be able to uh, progress this further. Um, the benefits from the program. Before I started the program, I was an engineer. Um, nothing to do with marketing, nothing to do with sustainability. And I didn't realize how, how important some of those subjects were. And I realized through market research that I changed the, the structural design in a major way four times from listening to customers and sending out surveys and questionnaires. Um, now all these reports, technical, like the technical report, like I could have made, you know, I would have been able to do that, but feasibility study, marketing plan, financial plan, business plan, prototype, I already had completed, but I changed it four times as I said because of marketing. But all, all those reports would not be, I would not be able to compile them without sitting in this course. Um, now the opportunities from this, uh, I just got my results last year, or last week, so I got a first class honours in it. Um, I've, uh, I'm kind of ingrained with Enterprise Ireland now, and I've, I've, uh, I understand all their, all their system, their grants, um, and how they work, and, and as a result, I'm on a new Frontiers programme now, which starts on the 26th of June. Development of Indigenous uh, Enterprise. Um, this, this, this slide is probably very important for, for the industry. Um, and I'll start from the bottom up. I think that every business must innovate. They have to stay relevant within their own industry and to go into other markets. I think if, if, if all companies knew how good this course was, they would be fighting to get people out of the course. Um, it's a, I had a fantastic experience the last year. I went in with an idea 
and I walked out the door with a with a fully tested and I'm very confident in, in it now. Before I was asking myself a lot of questions. That course makes you ask the questions, the difficult questions, and the professionalism there for, for marketing, finance, engineering, everything's there. If you have a question, there's someone down the corridor who's fully accessible to, to answer that question and to help out. Um, that's, that's the end of it. I'd like to thank you for, for listening.